Have you ever thought about how many bridges you need to cross every day? We cross bridges without even knowing it. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cross rivers, valleys, or even other roads and railways. It's important that our bridges are in good condition and are able to support all of the people, trucks, and trains that they're designed to carry. But bridges have been around for a long time, and they come in many different shapes and sizes. Just like everything else, they can only last for so long. So, how can we be sure that after all of these years, our bridges are still fit for purpose? We can put sensors on bridges to monitor how they behave, when traffic drives across, when the wind blows, or just generally how they tend to vibrate. Over time, if we can detect changes in the behaviour of a bridge, it can indicate that there's some sort of damage or deterioration. This works well when we're looking at one individual bridge. However, Transport networks aren't quite that simple. There are lots of bridges, and usually not lots of money to examine them all individually. We do, however, have lots of vehicles. So what if we put these sensors inside the vehicles? We can measure vibrations inside the vehicle and use some mathematics to try and indirectly measure how the bridge is behaving. This concept, known as drive-by bridge monitoring, would offer a cheaper solution to monitor all of our bridges. As great as this all sounds, there are still plenty of challenges. There are lots of things that can cause the behaviour of a bridge to change. From the speed at which the vehicle crosses, to how sunny or windy it might be on that particular day. So how can we really know if a bridge is damaged, just because it's vibrating a bit differently? In order to fully understand what's going on, we need to delve a bit deeper. Using machine learning approaches, we can develop algorithms which can be trained to recognize how all of these different things might affect the behavior of a bridge. My research focuses on the development of artificial neural networks, which essentially mimic the learning process which the human brain uses to remember and recognize patterns. A well-trained neural network should be able to predict how a bridge would behave under various conditions, and hence gives much better insight into whether changes in behavior are actually caused by damage or deterioration. Combining drive-by techniques for monitoring of bridges along with artificial neural networks will take us one step closer to having a cost-effective method for monitoring bridge condition and ultimately will ensure that we're all safe and sound as we go about our daily lives.